November the 2nd, 2021. Guys, you're looking at current images starting yesterday going up to current time of our sun. This is from the SDO. We've had an Earth-facing solar flare, another one, this time in the northern hemisphere of the sun. This was the one we watched coming around from the left corner. And the one that gave us the solar flare the other day is now turning to the right, still kicking off those flares. See at the bottom right corner of this? But this one sent an Earth-facing um, coronal mass ejection. And if you remember, they said that uh, the CME that we dodged the other day, a couple of days ago, Sunday, I think, um, it went slightly south of the Earth, the largest section of the plasma cloud. Now, this one is in the northern hemisphere of the sun, not the southern hemisphere, so that may change the direction of the CME as far as going north or south of our planet. Looking at it again, SDO images, a different camera, and you're going to see in the top right, guys, there was a large filament release, and then in the center, you're seeing a very long uh, solar flare. It wasn't an X flare, it was a strong M flare. But it lasted a long time, and the longer that it lasts, the longer the ionization happens in our atmosphere. But what you're seeing there in the center, there's a flare with a coronal mass ejection, and the magnetic canopy of the sun pulls back some of that explosion. Watch it right here. There's a flare, and then you see that area of the sun expand out. That's called a secondary flare or a hider flare, as that the uh, gravity of the sun and the magnetics pull part of that explosion back to the surface it re-erupts sends out another burst of, of uh, photons now this happened in the early hours of the morning and again it's strange that it was put up this is just a screenshot i can't uh, play it because they took it down but in both charts the green lines represent earth and you can see again on the fourth oh six hundred hours that's about uh, midnight um, on the coming out of the third on the east coast so that's what we're dealing with right now we're dealing with higher wind speeds than we did during the last cme they said and so i don't know exactly where that's coming from but we're over 600 kilometers per second and that's about 1.4 million miles an hour stereo ahead a also picked up this explosion and to the right of that is where the earth is here's our current solar wind check this out 594 coming up with 611 and you're easily once you get over that 600 mark you're approaching 1.4 million miles an hour and so we're starting to see a rise in some of the quakes so pay attention to that also the temperatures in the green chart it rises with the solar wind it says yet another solar flare sunspot ar289 is directly facing earth and it just exploded an M1 class solar flare rocked the sunspot's magnetic canopy on November 2nd. It was a slow flare, uh, flare starting at 300 UT and lasting for hours. Solar flares do one thing very well. They produce CMEs. This one probably hurled a CME in the general direction of Earth. Confirmation awaits fresh data from SOHO coronagraphs. Stay tuned for that later today. Now, switching to um, La Palma, guys. This was overnight, and uh, the jetting continues, the lava flows continue, but they have, uh, the lava flows are not only continuing, they're intensifying, and we're getting close to an eruption on that northern vent that we're seeing that's continuously smoking. I think the lava's getting very close to the surface there, so that may be what we're going to see next. This is a breakdown, it goes back to October the 18th, but it's showing to the right this is the three main vents on the left but this one right here is the one we keep seeing it smoking that's the furthest to the north it's 300 meters from that main crater number two and it notice the one on the right has not reached the surface yet it's just heating it but there's lava flows that are going to be uh, appearing all over we're going to take a look at some drone images we saw that in the last video we did but check this out that lot that section right there was a big hollow cavity that is now full remember that guys it was just dropping off into like a pit from hell but it's completely full and overflowing down those channels this is a result in my opinion of the uh, heating of the core be all the solar activity that we're seeing the elevated wind speeds radiation storms going into the core and uh, as many people have said and it looks like it's like the blood of the planet 
but it's very more um, very much uh, more active today than it was yesterday these are images today it's now night there but check this out definitely an increase in the lava flow and as I mentioned yesterday there were places that are 40 meters high as far as the lava you know man that's 120 feet 12 stories and each time you see an eruption like this it uh, probably adds a few feet but it uh, causes it to channel in different directions and move out off the edges of this in some cases and that's why we're seeing the continued threat to some of the downhill villages there but guys i wanted to update that we're going to be watching on the fourth uh, we also saw that filament eruption so there could be an increase in uh, earthquake activity over the next two days definitely the uh, lava flows are increasing and the earthquakes are up on La Palma also today so keep an eye on that we're going to watch for that rear vent if it starts to erupt again you're going to have some lava spill in a different area and that may widen that path of uh, that, of destruction towards the Atlantic Ocean we're watching it you watch it guys it's a heads up be safe